Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Talk about starting off with the basics. This question says Mary has an appointment in 50 minutes. It's now 3.50 p.m. When is her appointment? Well, you just have to know the fact that a clock goes up to 60 minutes before the hour switches. So if it's in 50 minutes from now, then I need 10 minutes to get to the 4 o'clock hour. And then we still have 40 minutes left over, which means the appointment should be at 4.40 p.m. So number two here says that Siri earned $520 last week. Her pay is based on a 6% commission of all the sales. What were Siri's total sales from last week? Now there are a lot of like estimating ways we can do this quickly by like rounding, but the long way of going about doing this is by actually using this 6% with that 520 to actually work it all out. If you did not know to find 6% of a number, you multiply them together. But that's actually not what we have right here. We want to know 520 is 6% of what number? So if we want to go backwards here, we would actually be doing 520 divided by that 6. Now, because this is a percent at the end, we're going to move our decimal place two points over because written as a decimal, this would actually be 0.06. So looking at this, 6 goes into 52 how many times? Well, 6 goes into 52 eight times with four left over, because six times eight is 48. We would have a four left over, bring down that zero. Six goes into 46 times with another four left over. And then we're gonna end up just keep repeating that process over and over and over after that. So we end up getting something that is 86.6 repeated, but because we moved the decimal place twice here, we would move the decimal place twice here as well, giving us a final answer of 8,666 and then six repeated after that. So our actual answer here is D. So in my last video, I mentioned that there are a lot of quicker ways to go about doing number two. What did I mean by that? Well, this question said that she earned 520 last week, and that is 6% of the total number that she would make. Well, in my mind, the first thing I would probably do here is say, okay, let's just see about how much money that is. Well, I know that 10%, 10% instead of 6% would just mean I would add a zero on the end here to make this 5,200. So if I go about doing that, because when you're taking 10% of something, you can just move the decimal place over one, I would know right off the bat that 520 is 10% of 5,200. Well, if this is only 6%, then the answer has to be larger than that 5,200. Well, looking at these answers down here, there's only one option that's larger than 5,200. So right off the bat, just by looking at this very quickly, I would be able to say, okay, well, it has to be bigger than 5,000, so my answer must be D, and you could solve it in a matter of seconds. So looking at number three here, it says Marty has 16 pencils and four times as many erasers. How many more erasers than pencils does Marty have? Remember, no calculator here. So the first thing I would look at is 16 times that four. Well, I could multiply this out the long way, or I know that if I double 15, that would give me 30, double that again, and it would give me 60, but that would be 15, so I need to add another four to that to give me 64. So 16 times four is just 64. That's how many erasers I have. They want to know how many more pencils there are, so I'm gonna to have to do 64 minus that 16. When I subtract those two out, I'm gonna end up getting a final answer of 48, which is answer C. So number four can actually be pretty difficult if you don't realize how to do it quicker or easier. So in this case, it says that Craig ran the race in 13 and two thirds minutes the first week. Second week, he ran it in 12, minute, 12 and 5 twelfths of a minute. Um, but how many seconds did his time improve? So naturally, just finding the answer here, we need the difference between these two, but we also have to deal with this idea of converting from minutes to seconds. Now, you may be tempted to find the difference by just subtracting those two, but you're gonna have to deal with these fractions anyway because there's no calculator, and then you would have to convert after that, so it's a whole thing. The easier way is actually to convert these two fractions to have a 60 on the bottom so that you're already looking at this in terms of seconds. So if I wanted to convert two thirds to a fraction with 60 on the bottom, then I would be multiplying three by what to get to 60? I'd be multiplying by 20. So I multiply the top by 20 as well. So two times 20 is 40, and we have 40 over 60 for this fraction now instead. 
For this one down here, to get from 12 up to 60, so to get from 5 over 12 to a fraction with 60 on the bottom, you actually do 12 times 5. So multiplying the top by 5 as well, we would end up getting 25 over 60. So now we're going from 12 minutes and 25 seconds to 13 and 40 seconds. So first off, going from the 13 to 1340 means he's doing at least 40 seconds better. And then we also have the leftover from this 12 minute one. So this remember was 12 minutes and 25 seconds. So how much time would be left in that minute? It would be another 35 seconds because 25 and 35 will give you that full 60. So that means we also have 35 seconds being increased there. So 40 plus that 35 is going to give me a total of 75 seconds, which is answer B. So there's obviously a lot of ways that you could do number five. I'm going to try to do a little bit crazier of a method here, which is going to take a bit of explaining, but I think in the long run it would be a lot easier. Remember, there's no calculator here. So although you could set this question up and say that it's 45 over 8 equals 60 over x, because we're trying to solve like some ratios here, you could solve this out, but without a calculator, you would end up having to move this over, multiply by 8, divide by 45, so you can go. Instead, I want to try to do a method in my head saying, okay, I know 45 and 60 are kind of both divisible by 15. 45 is 15 three times, while 60 is 15 four times. And I know that this guy right here is a total of 8, and we need this guy here. Well, if I know this one right here is a total of 8, and I split down each of them is about... Well, if we divide that out, it would be two and two thirds each. So if we're looking at it that way, then that means I need to take this number and for this guy right here, add another two and two thirds. So that means that if I'm going eight plus two and two thirds, that would give me 10 and two thirds. Again, taking a bit to explain the answer, but in your head, this should go a lot quicker than trying to mentally deal with this. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.